Janalee, hello. Thank you for being here. Davey, welcome. Daryl T. Baker, hello. Janie Lee, how's your day been? Greg Smith, welcome. Arnie29, hello. Naya, hello. How are you, Elizabeth? Thank you for those likes. Pastor ADP, welcome. Obi-Wan Kenobi, hello. Arnie, thank you for those likes. How are you, Elizabeth? Can I show my Adam's apple? There you go. Colleen, thank you for the follow. Fine. Thank you for the likes, everybody. You all the best. Hello, honey badger. Anita, welcome. Sharon, hi. Hmm. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, click that follow button. Double tap the screen while I wait for people to get in here. Appreciate it so much. Just fine. Is my hair red? It's metallic brown. Stacy, how are you? Hello, Katrina. Amber, hi. Destiny, welcome. PSG Pritchard, hi. User 14, hello. Dolores, welcome. How are you, Capricorn Eyes? Thanks for being here. Gerald, thank you for the rose. Hello, Rhea. You miss me, Avalon? Well, I'm here. I've been waiting for you. Good evening, Ken. Monique, 83, how are you? You need help, Capricorn Eyes? What you need help with? I am Jolene. Welcome. My day was good, Elizabeth. Hello from Texas. Kenny Nash from Texas. Thanks for being here. Jenny Lee, thanks for the follow. Such a soccer mom. Hello. You don't know what you're doing? You're just scared? What are you scared about, Capricorn Eyes? Erica, hello. Hi from Iowa. User 14 from Iowa. Thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking on my little heart person, Julian. Appreciate the likes, everybody. What are you scared about? Is the sun still up? It isn't. Rate me 1 to 10. I'm not going to rate people. Everybody who follows me as a 10. He tells me he wants to be be like, let's have the talk when summer is over. Oh. So he wants to get it in for the rest of the summer. User 14, thank you for the follow. You're eating a bomb ass salad. What, what kind of salad you got there, Ria? Ken, why are you such a night owl? Because nighttime is when it's popping, Monique. Nighttime is when the freaks come out. And that's why. Taylor, thanks for being here. I just can't talk about everything that has happened. That's why I told him that. Oh, you told him that. Honesty is important. Well, what face care routine do you recommend? <laughs> I want to keep your seat clean. One is built myself. One I built myself. Everything, everything in it. Well, we love and everything solid. Even though I know he wants to be in a relationship with me. Hello, Rihanna. I saw something frightening the other day. I've been... What did you see that was frightening, Erica? Go oh, Capricorn, take things at your own pace. You need to, If you need time before you're ready for a relationship with him, that's okay. Add a taco and beans and ice cream. Hopefully not all at once. Hello, Guapo. Come to say, hey, I'm going to bed, trying to get to bed early. Rihanna, sweet dreams. Thanks for being here. Are you also a morning person or mostly nocturnal? Mostly nocturnal. My, my schedule is like 10 to 2 a.m. That's my life. Bolivian check. Thank you for those likes. Rebecca, hi. Sarah, welcome. Do you take naps? Nah, I don't take naps. Sometimes naps take me, but I don't take naps. I'm watching Chop Jr. Hello, Ray Brown. Chris, Lynn Marr, welcome. 
If I lived in California, I'd probably be live at a normal time. Kaylee, hello. But I just feel like midnight is the best time on TikTok to go live if you want to grow. Anthony, welcome. So if I were in California, that would be like 9 p.m. How do I say, hey, I have a three-month-old baby you don't know about? Just like that. <laughs> so a guy was on live. He was 21 or so. And he has a sneaky link. Why midnight? I don't know. I just feel like... I just feel like midnight, there's so many people in here. Like, maybe it's because the other side of the world is going to lunch. And they just start flooding in. I just got ghosted because I won't send pics. That happens, Kay. That happens, Kay. Some girl tried to make a video about me because I wouldn't send her my D. My D. People are weird. It's 9.57 p.m. in Cali. Hi, Fancy Face. Hello. Kay Money, welcome. Erica. Oh, no. Can we talk about Lunchable pizzas? We sure can. Speaking of the Lunchables, for one Lunchable month, you can click the star and become a Love Ranger. And you'll get love next to your name. And you'll get to use cute emotes. So this cute and brunch chatty. And I'll follow you back. And you get a Love Ranger color live in front of everybody. Is anybody in here a Love Ranger? So we can see love next to your name. Can you say hi to Lily? Hello, Lily. You're so incredibly beautiful. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you for the follow. Erica, Erica and Amy? Got love next to their name. That could be you, but you're playing. My boyfriend keeps liking girls' pictures after I told him to stop, and he did it again. Well, it looks like it's time to get a new boyfriend. That one's broken, Lilo. If we can see your lower half, that would be cool. Do you have after-hour clubs in your area? Um, I live in the country. I'm a good old country boy. There ain't any after hours around these parts. The Amish go to bed when the sun goes to bed. I have men sending me pictures and I don't know what to do with all that. My town is so small. Um, you could send them to their mom. I kept the keychain that Jeremy bought me in 2017. He, re he remembers our songs. Joanna, thank you for the bros. You want a Lunchable? Never will I forget. <laughs> Capricorn eyes. You're so mysterious. I am mysterious. I don't know. Are you in love? Did you see the Barbie movie? I did see the Barbie movie. Your responses are great. Amish, do you live in Pennsylvania? I live in Ohio. Um, but you got a lot of Amish people where I live. Can I don't see you as a country boy for some reason? You see these calluses on my hand? Now you see me as a country boy? Were you? Because I am. He lives in Ohio, I do. He's so Southern. I am Southern. Maybe I am uh, just on the face of maybe we're... Hello, hello, Dana. How'd you like it? How'd I like the Barbie movie? It was enjoyable to watch. Thank you for the likes. I feel like the message isn't what people wanted it to be, and they're pretending that's what the message was. Mark, Mark thanks for being here. Strong working hands. I do have some strong working hands. These are some strong hoeing hands. And I I may have to cancel our plans for Friday because of nature. What did I do today? Um, I worked on my farm today. And I um, roped some cattle. And I played the banjo a little bit. Mm, helped a family from a, from a burning building. And I... Worked on re-uploading all my catfish videos on YouTube. Thank you for the, the rose, everybody. Ken, Ken loved the Barbie movie. It was enjoyable. I wouldn't say I loved it, but it was it was fun to watch. No one th thinks I'm country either because I live in California. Who did you see it with? Um, I saw it with my friend and her friends. It was me and a bunch of ladies. Thank you for all those roses. Your lies have come up multiple times a week for me, and you're always in the same position. Yeah, you like that? 
Hello, Marco. He's in the love ship every night. Blake. It was fun. I, w I wouldn't recommend it for kids either. I feel like it's rated, what, PG-13? I think that's a fair rating. NBA player Blake Griffin. You're in the wrong area being a night owl. You should be in New York, Vegas, or Miami. Here's the thing. Just because I'm a night owl doesn't mean I'm a, I'm a night out person. I don't like going out. Um, I never have and I never will. It's not my scene. Parties, loud music. Mm -mm. Like, I, I enjoy drinking, but I enjoy drinking on, like, a porch. You know, I enjoy drinking around a fire. Watching a movie, chilling, talking, quiet. Like, I like drinking and quiet, you know? I don't like loud noises and girls bumping into me and all that bullshit. Not for me. Ken, are you an AI? Um, drop drop the Barbie card for your boy. No one under 16 should watch the Barbie movie. Yeah, I would be a... I would feel very uncomfortable if I had a daughter under probably like 13 or under and I watched that with her. Thank you for the mic, man. I wonder if that's why I love your life so much because it, because it's all, because I'm always in the same position, always the same setup, good for your anxiety. Yeah, it's like, I've, I kind of just had this moment where I used to care, like, oh, I need to wear a different shirt. I need to do this. I need to do that. It's like, I think it's better if I kind of treat it as I'm a character, like a cartoon character. You know what I mean? Where like, I don't wear the same shirt all the time, but if I do, who cares? Who cares? Like I'm going to wear black all the time and I'm going to be consistent. I'm in, I'm going to be in the same spot with the same background, just chilling, answering questions, hanging out. It's, it's going to be the same. Um, I think the, ga the galaxy of love will come back. I don't know when, so I'm working on so much right now. So when when all those things get figured out, maybe we'll bring back the galaxy love. But yeah, I like I like treating myself as a product, you know, and cons a consistent product. You know, you order a big super can, you're gonna get a big super can every single time. Same. Hello, Nikki. Same mostly. That's because you're old now. I've never, I've never been into clubs and bars ever. Not even when I was young. Like I didn't, I didn't start drinking until I was like 26, 26, 27. I like drinking on the porch with, with church songs playing. I have a first date tomorrow. Any tips? What do you love on a first date? And where are you going? Jenna, my chasers. I can't stop staring at your beauty. Well, thank you. <laughs> and you're straight. Love ship uniform, yeah. No more turquoise sh shirt. Maybe sometime I'll bring that back. Maybe sometimes I'll sometime I'll bring that back that chem blue. Do we get the night lights in the back too? Yeah, every time, every time. <laughs> Do you have any flaws? You can't see in clubs. A shave? Never. You've never been in a club. It's not fun. McKenna, thank you so much for the rose. JV, thank you for the follow. Sold. I've been in dive bars though. Yeah, I don't enjoy clubs. It's I'm absolutely miserable. I've been to a club maybe like I don't know how many times, but anytime I've been to a club, it has not been my idea. The attractive guys are all taken or gay. Or in jail. Not the jail. Nikki, hello. Astro, thank you. Thank you for being here. Rada Reigns, welcome. Ken is available. I don't know 
if I consider myself available. I'm just so focused on business right now. Astrid, hello. Nancy, welcome. And you have your shit together. Thank you. That time. Good night, Joanna. Thank you for being here. Clean cut. I live in a tiny population. No one here knows what clubs are. Ken, you seem very picky. I am very picky. Are you tall? Yes. Take care always because I'm at lunch now. Well, enjoy your lunch. I'm trying to get wild, but life keeps getting in the way. Hello, Anna. T. Michael, welcome. Cameron here. Princess Eva, welcome. He's just Batman. I am Batman. He's 6'3 and a quarter. Thank you, Amy. Thank you for bringing my stats out. <laughs> Sean, welcome. McKenna, thank you so much for making that cool. You shake his I appreciate it. Are you picky? I am picky. Yeah. It's 90 minutes long distance now. Anything less than four hours is not long distance. I'm putting my foot down. No more meetings. I'm gonna going to the real world on Monday. I hope you have fun out there. Does he have legs? Have a knee? At the least have a knee. So TGAT means he's a villain. I am a villain. Do you burn easily in the sun? No, I don't. Who has seen Ken's legs? I don't think anybody who's in here currently has seen my legs. Hello, Sav. Are all men the same? No. Um, men, all men and women are the same, sort of. I don't like to separate genders when I give advice because I know all women aren't the same and I know all men aren't the same. I go more on attachment theory and attachment styles. That's what I like to focus on. Let's focus on attachment styles first because, you know, there is some truth to Maybe not gender, but femi feminine and masculine energy. There's some truth to that. There are some ways men and women are different, but when it, for the most part, like the majority has to has to deal with your attachment style. So that's where we need to start because that's going to answer most of your questions. Yes, going back to work just to quit to go to school. We need to see if he has legs. Has anybody in here... I don't think there's anyone in here that I've met before. You owe us some short modeling shorts photos then? Women can can be abusive. They sure can. <laughs> Your attachment style is bullshit. Do you have an avoidant or anxious attachment? I don't. I have a secure attachment. But yeah, I get attached easily. Well, we love to see it, Sav. So Sav, what do you feel like you struggle with mostly with men? Because you came in here like, are all men the same? So that tells me you're not having a good time <laughs> when it comes to men. So what's going on? Do you feel like everybody? I think I'm secure with good communication. Um, McKenna, you give anxious vibes. You give anxious, anxious attached vibes. You look so much hotter than the Barbie movie, Ken. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I need to get a full-time job that I will actually like and will help you find one. Okay, thank you. There's no communication in men anymore. That's a full question. That is a full question, Sav. What do you feel like is the underlying pattern of these men that you're dating? I didn't ask, but okay, Ken. <laughs> You're welcome, McKenna. I don't know who that is. I have no attachment. How long ago was your last relationship? My last relationship was in November. Do your thing, Capricorn eyes. I've been single since November. You don't have to thank me, McKenna Rose. I had manners for you, you know? I saw the lack of your appreciation and manners, and I had them for you. 
why'd you break up? <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to talk about her. <laughs> You're welcome, Ken. Where's your Barbie or other Kens tonight? All the Barbies are here. Can you become stuck in fight or flight? Stuck there? Stuck there? No. Because you wouldn't be able to sleep. If you were stuck in fight or flight mode, you wouldn't be able to sleep, Ria. Um, are you asking, are you going to be stuck with your anxiety for your entire life? That's something to talk to a doctor about. I don't know. I don't, I don't struggle with anxiety or depression. Like that doesn't mean I don't feel anxiety. I do feel anxiety, but my anxiety comes when something exciting is about to happen, happen or something big is about to happen. Or if, um, I feel something in my stomach that's not right about somebody I'm talking to. That's when my anxiety comes. My anxiety is all situational. You know, it doesn't just hit me out of nowhere. Like, oh, well, this sucks. If you have that kind of anxiety, talk talk to your doctor. Who's there? Hello, Hulkster. Ken's feeling spicy tonight. <laughs> Hello, Grace. Every man I talk to who is willing to get anything out of me when they receive what they want, bam. So they just throw you away. By receive what they want, do you mean um, the undercover's dance? Is that what you mean? You mean the, the tango in the sheets? Is that what, what you're saying? They get what they want and they're out? You just mansplain me. Um, McKenna, as a man, I don't... Let me explain to you what mansplaining means. Mansplaining means I'm explaining something to you as a man that I feel like you wouldn't understand because you're a woman. It doesn't mean explaining something while being a man. <laughs> but I'm sure you didn't... Under, as a woman, I'm sure you didn't understand that. <laughs> All right, so if you tell a guy about your fearful avoidant attachment style, he says, I'll wait. He'll, he'll wait for what? Is he good? What's he waiting for? I'm stuck in fight or flight, brother. That's, that's why you, when you have chronic pain, you're stuck in fight or flight. I feel like secure is just being secure with your own emotions and expressing them in a helpful way. That's severe anxiety. You don't have to stay there, though, but it can feel like that. Hello, Bianca. How are you? Maybe for, before you met me like two years ago. How did you... How did you deal when you broke up in a relationship you were fell in love so how do you deal with a breakup when you were in love with somebody and how did how did i deal with one um i felt like i was going to die taddy when you're in love with somebody and you're going through a breakup you feel like you're gonna die you feel like you want to die but um good news that feeling goes away it might stick around for a couple of months and it's probably you know, like, I haven't lost a parent yet, thankfully. I haven't lost a child. So I don't know how it equates to that pain. But a breakup with somebody you're in love with is one of the most painful things to go through. How you get through it is you distract yourself with friends and family. You know, hang out with your friends as much as you can. Make, sh make sure you do the simple things for you, like brush your teeth, take a shower. Like some days that's a win. As long as you do those little things, you know, your self-care is still up. Go for a walk when you can because I know you're not going to have energy. You're not wa going to want to get out of bed. And that's okay. And it's fine. But hang out with your friends. And when you have more energy, work on your fitness. Work on your finances. And go to sleep and wake up until it stops hurting. That's all you can do. And no contact. Don't be checking in. Don't see how they're doing. Try your hardest to not look at their stories, at their social medias. 
you know, live your life the best you can. And just go to sleep and wake up until it doesn't hurt anymore. Hi from Wisconsin. Hello, Jen. For Halloween, I'm going to get Officer Naughty. I feel like once I left a bad relationship, all my aches and pains and anxiety went away. Well, I'm happy for you, Astrid. That's awesome. Jennifer, thank you for the follow. I can't help fight you. His exact, his exact words, I can be patient. That means he's willing to work towards meeting me. Danica, that sounds awesome. He sounds like a great person. As a man, let me mansplain to you. Yeah. As a man, let me mansplain mansplaining to you. They want the attention. Basically, anything that they're waiting, and I give it to them. I love when Super Kim so thank you. I have a lot of prescriptions from when I went through a divorce, but I don't take them. Hi, handsome. Hello, Jenna. But all in reality, they don't want to get to, to know me or really listen. Sav, I think it's I think it's awesome when somebody shows you they're not interested early instead of pretending that they're interested and then you waste like three months on them and they're like, never mind, I was joking. So don't don't be so focused on the people who maybe they give you a little t attention and you give them a little attention and then they stop giving you attention and just move on until somebody stays. You know, it's the sandwich shop analogy, again, that I always give. If you got the best sandwich shop in town and somebody comes in, looks at your men menu and doesn't buy, you don't chase after them. Why don't you buy my sandwich? Because you're a successful sandwich shop. Everybody loves your sandwiches, you know? Worry about the ones who love what you have to offer, not the ones who don't. They don't make you any less of a of the best sandwich shop in town, girl. No, every, we're not going to be for everybody. I'm doing okay. Aw. Well, Bianca, I hope you, that you get better. Anna, who? Yes, the emotions are life are like someone died. Yeah, they are like someone died, and sometimes it's like you died. Like it's the worst when you're going through a breakup with somebody you were in love with, and you have like a dream about them, and then you wake up, and you're and you just feel this insane pain. Like damn, I wish I was asleep. It's almost like when you're sick, when you when you're sick really bad, and you're asleep, and then you wake up. And you feel feel how awful it is to be sick. That's what a breakup feels like when you love somebody. Gracie, thank you for the follow. I unfortunately lost my dad and then had a breakup. They were both bad. Thank you, Ken. I totally agree with you. Give me the best description. I've been through that. Someone pretending to be the right one for you can cause you to waste years worth of your time. Facts. You're so right. I am so right, Sav. What have I walked in on? Is this the male version of Call Her Daddy? I don't know what Call Her Daddy is, but um, hello, Mags. I'm Super Ken from Super Ken TikTok. I'm TikTok's number one dating TikToker. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. That's the best analogy. Thank you. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I keep oversleeping because I stay up and watch you. <laughs> Good night, Rhea. I'm gonna start trying to go to go live closer at one. I mean midnight instead of one. Trevor, hello. So that way, um, I'll be off of here by one a.m. Hello, Veronica. I'll be on for like thirty more minutes tonight. Good night, Rhea. Thanks for being here. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Tabby. Mommy Bear 1981. Hello. Chandler, welcome. Square Fanny. Hello. A, welcome. You're so pretty. Thank you. Martin, 
Thanks for being here. Tristan, hi. Joanne, 84, welcome. And Adonis, these lives are part of my skincare routine now. <laughs> Good. I'm so happy you can listen to me while you uh, tone your skin, Bianca. Chloe, welcome. USA M3, hi. Mikey, hello. Sunshine, darling, welcome. I took the stairs today. Thanks. You're welcome, Amy. I'm so happy you did that. Look at us just being being a bunch of healthy people in here. We're getting healthier and healthier one day at a time. Hello, JT. McKenna, thank you for those Barbie shoes. I appreciate it. Bolivian Chica, welcome. Pokemon Go Shiny. Hello. I'm a bad example because I'm thinking of mozzarella sticks currently. Man, I want some mozzarella sticks. Hello, Parker. They're for me. I just need you to carry them. Hello, Kay. Thank you for sharing that live. Jesse Collins, welcome. Thank you for the dislikes, my buddy. Lily and Danny, welcome. Good night, McKenna. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hello, Crystal. Alex, hi. Maybe I'll do like six more minutes. My eyelids are getting heavy. Love to ride. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Janelle. Hello. How are you? Hi, Crystal. Do I live in the love ship? I don't live in the love ship. Courtney, welcome. Good night, Astra. Thank you for being here. Yes, okay. This is a 3027 love ship from the future. Let's stay up too late. I'll be I'll probably go to bed in like five minutes, Alex. <laughs> That's his Batmobile. <laughs> his Batman. <laughs> well, thank you for, for that news, Alex. I appreciate it. Carly May 43, hello. All right, I think I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for hanging out with me, everybody. If you're new here, click that follow button. Follow me on Instagram, at Gaming. I appreciate it so much. Double tap the screen if you want this light or anything I use to live stream. Link tree in the bio. If you want a phone call with me or FaceTime with me. Link tree in the bio. So hot, thank you. Have a great night. You too, Courtney. Good night, Danica. My favorite Jonas Brothers brother, Kevin. Am I Italian? Strawberry, I'm not Italian. But I'll, I'll, I'll let her say, I don't think you do want to call me. Everybody call me. Link, link tree in the bio if you want to FaceTime or phone call. Um, <laughs> Kev Stan. Um, good night. Good night, everybody. Goodbye.